I'm Wafula Alan Samuel, math physics teacher, and tonight I will be taking you through mathematics, and we are going to discuss a, a, a problem which was forwarded to me through the comments as I was reading through the videos that I've been posting, and a colleague sent a question asking that how could someone go about the area or maximum area about a rectangle inscribed in a circle. So I try to share with you, we are going to discuss about maximum and minimum area of a figure or a shape. So tonight, let's try to look at the problem which we're given to and it says finding the maximum area of a rectangle inscribed in a circle of radius r. So when I try to sketch, this is our circle, and our circle, we know it has a radius r, but we have been given a rectangle which is inscribed, meaning that it is inside. So this is our rectangle, inscribed, and we can see that that is our center. So from here, up to here, we can call that one r. So if I proceed up to here, this is our center, this is also R. So clearly we see that this forms a right angle point. It forms a right angled triangle. So since this is our circle, and they are telling us to find the maximum area of this rectangle inscribed into the circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let the sides of a rectangle to be X and Y, since I don't know them. So I'll let this to be x, I let this to be y. But remember, this is our circle. The rectangle has been subscribed, meaning it is inside. So if I try to look at this from Pythagoras theorem, we know very well that from from Pythagoras theorem, which is c square equals a square plus b square, it will clearly show us that this one is our c, which is going to give us two r. But now this is square equals to x square plus y square. So when you try to look at that, we shall see that x square plus y square is equal to 4r square. So this gives us that. But remember, I can either make y or x the subject. So let me try to make y the subject. You find that y square is equal to 4r square minus x square. Meaning that our y is a square root. Taking the positive side, it will give me 4r square minus x square and that is the value of y but remember if this is a triangle area of a triangle it is always length times with it length times with it and our length here is y and our width it is x which is going, going to give us x y so i will take my area to be x y but remember they're saying what would be the maximum area of this rectangle subscribe or inscribed inside the circle. We know that our area is equals x y and we have just got y in terms of x so I'm going to substitute in where there is y and I would say that area is equal to x that is root of 4r square minus x square. So that is just our area but remember they are telling us to get the maximum area. So for us to get the maximum area we know very well we have to differentiate the area with respect to the variable. So and here our variable is x because here x will be changing, y will be changing. Whereas the radius of the circle is always constant. It will not change. So since we are now going to look at the differentiating, I can introduce a natural log on both sides. And this gives me lean of a, which is equal to lean of x, root of 4r square minus x square. So when I simplify, if I differentiate, this will give me lean of x, then plus, if you try to see, this is the lean of 4r square minus x square, but this is the raised to power half, which you can also still simplify it as lean of x, which is going to be lean of x, then plus a half, then lean of 4r square minus x square. Then I go on to differentiate by saying this is 1 over a, the area with respect to x will give us, when you differentiate lean of x, we shall get 1 over x, then, when you come to this point, remember that is plus a half into brackets. When you differentiate this, 4r square is a constant, and when you differentiate a constant, you get a zero, 
So when I differentiate negative x square, we shall get negative 2x over, which is the 4r square minus x square. So when you try to see, this gives us 1 over a, the area, the x, which is going to give us 1 over x. Then this two will reduce that, which is going to give us minus x over 4r square minus x square. So that is what we shall have there. Then we are going to simplify or harmonize it. So when we harmonize, that is 1 over a, the area, the x, will give us, that is 4r square minus x. Then minus, remember that, minus x square, everything over 4r square minus x multiplied by x. So, try to see it here. We see that this and this will also add up. This is the area, the x, which will give us 4r square minus 2x square over x into 4r square minus x square. Let's make the a the x the subject. The a, the x the subject, will give us 4r square minus 2x over x into 4r square minus x square. Multiply by area. But remember our area is here. It is the whole of this, which is going to give us x power 4r minus x square per half. So we shall see that this will go with that. Then this will simplify this to give us 4r square minus 2x over 4r square minus x square, but everything to power half. Because we have this is power 1, this is a half. So when you deal with numbers of the same base, we reduce the powers. So we shall see that this is how, when you, 1 minus a half, you get a half. And this is just our the area, the x. Then we know very well that for maximum or minimum area, we shall differentiate and say the area, the x will give you 0 for, max, for maximum area. So therefore, we shall have it to eat that it is 4r square minus 2x square, which is green, gives us a 0. Then from that level, we shall make x the subject, which will be that 2x square is equal to 4r square, implying that our x is r root of 2. So we have got the value of x, but we know we are not interested in getting x alone. We are supposed to get the maximum area. So therefore, after I've got the value of x, I'll go back and I substitute it to get the value of r. So when I go back to get the value of r, look at this. So we shall see that ry is equal root of 4r square minus. When I square this x, I'm going to get 2r square. So this is 2r square, which is going to give us, if you simplify, you're also going to get still r root of 2. This is what we shall also get. Because here we shall get 2r square. And when you get the square root of that, it will also be that. But remember, we're looking for the maximum area. So therefore, we shall say that a max is going to give us, we are going to get x, which is root of two, r root of 2, multiply it by r root of 2. And this gives us 2r square. And therefore, this becomes the maximum area of the rectangle enclosed or certain spread into the circle. But if I just said, find the maximum or minimum area, then that means that after I had gotten the value of x, then we will go back and then we differentiate it for the second time to test whether it will give us a maximum or minimum. How? If we had got a negative in the second derivative, it would therefore show us that it's a maximum area. Then if after substituting in, we get the positive value, then it will show us that it is going to be a minimum area. But now for this case, since they have already told us it is a maximum area, we just need to concentrate on getting the value of x and getting the value of y. And that will be the value of the area, maximum area of the rectangle inscribed. Thank you so much for watching Tower Academic. For more questions, more inquiries, please put in your comment in the comment center section sorry i'm going to be answering all of them i remain alan samuel wafula math physics teacher